All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this really cool, very abstract line art-ish, very neon animation. I have trouble describing things, but that's what we're gonna make, so let's get into it. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is brought to you by CoreWeave. At the end of the video, we are gonna be rendering this with the CoreWeave render farm. But before that, let's get into the tutorial. So shift A, and I'm just gonna add in an icosphere. Make sure your subdivisions are at two and nothing higher or lower, just to get the look that you're gonna get with what I'm doing. Next thing I'm gonna do is add the displace modifier. So over here, displace. Click new, click this little button right here, and then let's go to clouds. So I'm just gonna bring depth down to zero because I like the way that's gonna look. So let's go back and let's add the mirror modifier. And then right here on the axis, X, I mean, sorry, Y and Z, and you can see how it's cutting through it. If you go over here and click bisect, it does that. So now I want something to actually drive this uh, displacement animation. So I'm gonna add in an empty. So right down here, plane axis, move them over here. The, the placement of the empty does not matter, but I'm going to put them over there so I can see them. All right, now I'm just going to go, I'm going to hit the tilde key, which is below the escape key and above the tab key for me. Um, so we're going to click back and then I'm going to go and add my camera, control, alt, zero, snap that to view. So let's add the wireframe modifier and right there, wireframe, and I'm going to bring the thickness down quite a bit, right about to there. So let's go to look dev mode and I'm gonna add in an emission shader. So right here, emission, and bring my brightness up to say 50. And then I'm gonna make it blue. You can make whatever color you'd like. So now let's go about animating this. So if you go back to the uh, displace modifier, we need to select this empty to animate it. So right here on local, click object and click that empty. So now if you click the empty and you just hit R and you rotate it, you can see it's actually affecting this object here. So what I like to do is actually make this displacement go super extreme on the uh, strength. So right about there. And I'm gonna bring my camera back, just like that. And then just to test how this is gonna look. Yep, that's what we're going for. So right here on the world settings, I'm gonna bring my color all the way down to black. And then we can go up and we're gonna be using cycles to render this. So yeah, keep it at cycles. So first thing we're gonna do is a test render. So right here on, uh, if you're at the camera icon, just put your render at say uh, 10, and then I'm gonna put uh, say 70%. So let's do a quick test render just to see how this is gonna look. So it's rendering out, so it's finished. Now just to test the effects that we're gonna add to this, go to the compositing tab, type in viewer, right down here, bring that to the viewer, and then we're gonna type in glare here in the compositor. And so now we're gonna get, we can, we're gonna see this. I'm gonna change it from streaks to uh, ghosts and then medium to high. So now we have this craziness. So it looks a bit too much. Let's go and make sure that you have this composite node. Make sure you plug image into image. Let's go back to rendering. Now we have this, it's way too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go back to look dev and I want the thickness to be a little bit less. So let's bring the thickness down on this wireframe by quite a number, right about there, looks pretty cool. Let's go back and render it again. So do a little test, go back to uh, rendering here. That looks much better. So we're gonna go with that thickness. All right, so for animation, I'm gonna give my, right down here, I'm gonna give it 240 frames, scale it up here, and then I'm gonna take this empty, and I'm gonna rotate it, go back to look dev here. We're gonna rotate it on the X axis. So just put it back at zero, I'm gonna hit this little button right here for a keyframe, go all the way to the very end, and hit the right arrow to go to 241, and then type in 360 degrees, which uh, that'll rotate it at 360 degrees. And now you can see we get those really crazy, really cool um, effects. So that's simply how you do it, but now we're gonna go and use Core Weave to actually render this. Because it's Cycles, it's gonna take a little bit longer than it would be in Eevee, and I wanna get those cool effects, and I love the way Cycles looks for this animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna File, Save As, I'm gonna call this Core, because we're gonna be rendering this Core Weave. So right there, Save As Blender File. So now we have this. All right, uh, forgive this thing right here, this big line in my face. The sun is uh, right in front of me today and it's a bit annoying. So just a little backstory on CoreWeave. CoreWeave is a render farm. They, right now, they only serve the Blender community. They're a big sponsor at the Blender conference this year, and they have some a really great render farm for us Blender users. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. So this one right here, we're gonna be using Concierge, which is their professional for big project renderings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here to the file manager. I'm gonna add my file. 
So I'm, I went and I added my file here in the file manager right here. You can see core. So I'm going to go and click launch render. So advanced, I'm going to give it those 300 samples on resolution. You can keep it at the native resolution or you can do low quality and bring it down to 25% resolution if you want it to be super quick. So frame selection just to make sure I'm going to get from frame one to frame 240 to four zero and then general it's an animation and it's in Blender 2.8. So just to show you how fast this is, we're gonna click render and I'm gonna show you how fast it was. So I just started it, now it says still rendering, but we submitted it at 20.36.57. They use military time just so we can get some more accurate things. It's evening, it's 3.37 for me right now. So this is when it started. So right now you can already see we've got 22. As you can see, we already got some files, uh, some of the frames rendering, it's, it's gonna be a PNG sequence. Bam, we still have some more. We're almost there and it's only been a few seconds and it's rendering so fast. All right, so we just finished it. This was 240 frames. This was rendered at 1080p and with 300 samples and this costs me $1.30. So you can see the project started at 20.37.04 and finished at 20.37.48. So it's lightning fast. It is a lightning fast render farm. So. So this is the render with those ghosts. It's super cool. It's a very abstract, very sci-fi looking line animation and it loops seamlessly. And there you go. So there you go. Thank you CoreWeave for sponsoring this video. Those guys are really great. Go check them out and thanks for watching.